Hi, I'm Jin, and this time we're going to look a little deeper into the Shooter Project. You can see I've got uh, the same cluster I had running last time. Spawn method is zero, so the bots are being distributed distributed evenly across all the nodes, regardless of their physical location. And I have the two gateways and two pickup servers. And of course the master. So I'm going to close these to save processing. And we'll go, let's go on the red team. You know what? I'm going to capture this in a uh, window capture so it looks a little better. Okay. So we're in the cluster. This is over the internet, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. All right. So the AR doing their thing. And uh, I guess I can show you the basic functionality here. Obviously, we have enter and leave cover. I can aim. I can aim out. Hello. You can see uh, the rifle there was moving. That's because it's always going to point at what the crosshair is pointed at. So as I get closer, you can see the gun move up. But if I point that way, it aims down. If, um, if the target is moving, it will also account for their velocity and, uh, you know, lead the target. So you actually, in this setup, you would actually aim directly at your moving target and it will automatically lead for you instead of you having to lead the target. I'm not sure how much I love that, but um, getting it so that there's a good correlation between the, the crosshair and where the bullet ends up is an interesting problem. And this was the only real way I could see to get good consistency. The other option was to move the crosshair, but I've seen that implementation attempted and it doesn't look great. All right, so um, reloading. So when uh, when I hit reload here, that pickup there is being spawned in the cluster on a worker. That is not being spawned on the gateway that the uh, player is hosted on. And you can see that everything's nice and tight. So when he reloads, even though it's not being spawned on the same server as the player, it still looks it still looks like that it should. Uh, we've got reload the cover. All right. Um, obviously, I've got to pick things up ability so I'm gonna try to get shot at here you can see I've got some ragdoll well partial ragdoll hit reactions here if I had any kind of a good hit reaction animation that might work better but I don't know, I thought this was pretty cool, and you know, when when he 
recovers, he puts his hand right back and I don't know, I'm kind of proud of it. But also when he um when he gets hit enough, he stumbles back. Let's see if we can get hit a little more here. Yeah, you can see him stumbling. I don't have a stumble animation either, so I sort of had to intentionally glitch the movement component. But it looks pretty good. Uh, when I reload, if I get pummeled, I'll drop the magazine there. And the other thing I wanted to show you is I'll kill my own dude here. Because I want his gun. So these pickups are actual physics objects. And you can see at close range. The fact that that is running on a separate server makes no difference. The reaction to the impact is uh, nice and immediate. And uh, that's... That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Let's take a look at an AI up close. All right, uh, maybe in another video, uh, if especially if anyone's interested, I can show you how all of this works. Since the cluster is so similar to a standard dedicated server, even if you didn't want to use my technology, um, you could still apply some of these techniques to, uh, to your own game. All right.